58 week of the war in Ukraine. Who dare explain the Kokoga scam scam game? Won't say who did it. Don't keep toning cash. The signing blade. Who would you do rap? The counteroffensive results, they are unclear. What is, is that the war is nowhere near. OPEC cutting production, making Russia fat. So they can take another old blast. The UN is sailing on Ukraine. Not just the veto. It says big boss, don't need terrorists. Spent six long years called Boots Babacito. Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell, the Inner City Press, in Foley Square, Lower Manhattan. We cover the courts, but we also cover the United Nations. Despite being banned by Antonio Guterres, we're covering a number of their failures, including on Ukraine. Now, over this past week, of course, in Nova Kakarova, the dam burst. The dam burst, and the UN, I'm sure, is going to try to raise money off it, just as it raised money off almost every tragedy. Now, you have to see, those who are saying that the UN is going to solve Ukraine, the much smaller conflicts, they've just been raising money off them and dicking around forever. Let's take out Haiti. Haiti, they were supposed to help, and in fact, they brought cholera and killed people. African continent, we're asking about peacekeepers raping children, and they won't even answer. So it may be good that they're doing very little on Ukraine. The thing is, they're talking a lot. The, U, the, the, the Security Council is tied in knots. The President's Security Council is the UAE. They've been getting down with Russia themselves, and they also supported a militia group in Sudan called the RSF. This is today's UN, conflict of interest, corruption, and failure. To be continued.